Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering uh, 1 Chronicles 7 through 9 and John 6 22 through 44. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and for articulation in a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. Iskara, First Chronicles 7 The sons of Iskara, Tal, Pua, Jashlob, and Shemarin. Four in all, the sons of Tola, Uzi, Raphia, Cheriel, Jahamai, Ibsam, and Samuel, heads of their families during the reign of David, the descendants of Tola, listed as fighting men in their ge genealogy, numbered 22,600, the sons of Uzai. Ezariah, the sons of Ezariah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah, all five of them were chiefs, according to their family genealogy. They had 36,000 men ready for battle, for they had many wives and children. The relatives who war fighting men belonged to all of the clans of Iskra, as listed in their genealogy, were 87,000 in all. Benjamin, three sons of Benjamin, Bella, Becker, and Jedal, the sons of Bella, Esbon, Uzi, Uzziel, Jeremoth, and Irai. Heads of families, five in all. Their genealogical record listed 22,034 fighting men. The sons of Becker, Zemariah, Joash, Elizer, Elionia, Omri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alamath. All these were the sons of Becker. Their genealogical records listed the heads of families and 20,200 fighting men. The sons of Jedidel, Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan, Jaosh, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenath, Zenith, Teresh, and Adishar. All these sons of Jedediah were heads of families. There were 17,200 fighting men ready to go to war. The Shephites and Hepatites were the descendants of Ur, and the Hesitites, the descendants of Ah. Nephtali, the sons of Nephtali, Jehoziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shelion, the descendants of Bela. Manesh, the descendants of Manesh, Azrael was his descendant through his army and concubine. She gave birth to Machir, the father of Gilead. Makaira took a wife from among the Hubbits and Shepherds. His sister's name was Makaka. Another descendant was named Zelophehad, who had all many daughters. Makakaya's wife, Makakaya, Makaka, gave him two a son, or gave birth to a son, 
and named him Perish. His brother was named Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Recham. The sons of Ulam, Bedan. There were the sons of Gilead, son of Mechara, the son of Manesh, and his sister, Homalekath, gave birth to Ishad, Abazur, and Mahal. The sons of Shimadah were Ahayan, Shishum, Lekai, and Anamim. Ephraim, the descendants of Ephraim, Sathahela, bred his son. No, sorry. Sahahela bred his son. Tatha, his son. Eladiah, his son. Tahatha, his son. Zabdad, his son. And Shalotha, his son. Ezer and Eled were killed by the native born men of Gath when they went down to seize their livestock. Their father, Ephraim, mourned for them many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. Then he made love to his wife again. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. He named him. Bariah, because there had been misfortune in his family. His daughter was Shira, who built Lower and Upper Bethharim, as well as Uzan Shira. Raphael, uh, I'm sorry, Rapha was his son, Rapha, his son, Tela, his son, Tahan, his son, Laden, his son, Amahud, his son, Ishmael, his son, Nun, his son, and Joshua, his son. Their lands and settlements, including Bethel and its surrounding villages, Naran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shisham and its villages all the way to Ayaya and its villages along the borders of Manesh were Bethshen, Tanach, Migado, and Dor. Together with their villages, the descendants of jo Joseph's son of Israel lived in these towns. Asher, the sons of Asher, Emma, Ishabah, Isedai and Beriah. Their sister was Sarah, the son of Beriah, Hebrew, and Mechakah, who was the father of Berezeth. Heber was the father of Je Jehaleth, Shomer, and Hadama, and of their sister. Shua, the sons of Jalapheth, Pazak, Belma, and Ajaba. These were Jalapheth's sons. The sons of Shomer, Ahai, Rahaga, Huba, and Aram. The sons of his brother, Helen, so Zohel, Amina, Shalash and Amal, the sons of Sofa, Shah, Hermitur, Shul, Beri, Irma, uh, I'm sorry, Imra, Bezer, Hud, Shama, Shalashaha, Ephraim and Beer, the sons of Jether, Jephunia, Pispah, and Ara, 
the sons of Unia, Aara, Haniel, and Reza. All these were descendants of Asher, heads of families, choice men, brave warriors, and outstanding leaders. The number of men ready for battle as listed in their genealogy was 26,000. The genealogy of Saul and Ben the Benjamin. First Chronicles 8. Benjamin was the first father of Bella, his firstborn. Ashabal, the second son. Ahara, the third. Noah, the fourth. And Rapha, the fifth. Uh, no, sorry, not Noah. Nacha. The son of Bella were Adar, Gera, Arabah. Abishan, no, Abishua, Naaman, Ahala, Gera, Shephrathan, and Huram. These were the descendants of Yad, uh, uh, Ahud, who were heads of their families of those living in Geba and were deported to Manatha. Niamen, Ahaja and Gera, who deported them, and who was the father of Uzzah and Ahudahud. Sons were born to Shechem in Moab after he divorced. He had divorced his wives, Hisham and Barara, by his wife. He had Jobad, Zibia, Mesh, oh, sorry, Mesha, Mechelum, Melkam, Giaz, Shikia, and Miramah. These were his sons, heads of families, by Husham. He had Abitab and Elipa, the sons of Elipal, Eber, Mishan, Shemed, who built Una and Lod with its surrounding villages, and Beriah and Shem, sorry, Beriah and Shema, who were heads of their families of those living in Ajalon and who drove out the inhabitants of Gath. Ahia, Sheka, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishba, and Joha were the sons of Uriah. Zebediah, Mishalom, Hezekiah, Heber, Ishmael, Ezra, and Jobadad were the sons of Elipal, Jacob, Zechariah, Zabadai, Elani, Zelathai, Eliel, Adarhiah, Berahai and Sheremeth were the sons of Shemei. Ishpan, Eber, Eli, Abaddon, Zechariah, Hena, Haniah, Elam, Anthrophosia, Epahedia, and Pinuel were the sons of Sheshka, Shemariah, Shaharai, Ethelaha, Jerashiah, Elijah, and Zechariah were the sons of Jerome. All these were heads of their families 
chiefs as listed in their genealogy and they lived in Jerusalem. Jeel, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Mathakah, and his firstborn son was Abaddon, followed by Zor, Kish, Biel, Ner, Nadab, Gidor, Ahil, Zechar, and Nicoloth who was the father of Shema. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Micaiah, Shua, Abinad, and Ishmael. The sons of Jonathan, Merib, uh, sorry, Meribel, who was the father of Micah, the sons of Micah, Beyond, uh, Pit, Pithom, Melech, Tira, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jehodia. Jehodia was the father of Amalath, Azamath, and Zemurai. And Zemurai was the father of Moaz. Moaz was the father of Binia. Rephah was his son. Eli, Elisha, his son. And Azel, his son. Azel had six sons. And there, these were their names. Azuchem, Bukhara, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel, the sons of his brother Ishik, Ulim, his firstborn, Jeashu, Je, sorry, Jeash, his second son, and Eliphalet, the third. The sons of Ulim were Ray warriors who could handle the bow. They had many sons and grandsons, a hundred and fifty in all. All these were the descendants of Benjamin. First Chronicles microphone off. First Chronicles nine. All Israel was listed in the genealogical records in the book of the kings of Israel and Judea. They were taken captive by Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. The people in Jerusalem. Now the first two were settled in their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants those from Judea, from Benjamin, and from Ephraim, and Manash, who lived in Jerusalem, were Uthai, son of Amonhud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Benai, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah. Of the Shelanites, Ashiah, the firstborn, and his sons. Of the Zerahites, in Jeul, the people from Judah numbered 690. Of the Benjaminites, Saul, uh, I'm sorry, Saul, son of Mishalom, the son of Hadda. Of Vaya, the son of Hesana, Ibaniah, son of Jeraham, Ella, son of Uzai, the son of Nikarai, the and Mishlam, son of Shephatiah, the son of Reel, the son of Ibaniah. 
no, I'm sorry, Evan John. The people from Benjamin, as listed in their genealogical, numbered 956. All these men were heads of their families. Of the priests, Jedediah, Jephorib, and Jekin. Azariah, son of Hikagiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Marioth, the son of Etub, the official in charge of the house of God. Adadiah, son of Jehoram, the son of Pushhor, the son of Mechajah, and Messiah, son of Adel, the son of Jezreel, the son of Mishalom, the son of Mishalilamith, the son of Imer, the priests who were heads of families numbered 1,760. They were able men responsible for ministering in the house of God. The Levites, Sh Shemaiah, son of Hazahub, the son of Azarkim, the son of Hashabiah, a Marite. Bacher, Karish, Gelad, and Mataniah, sons of Micaiah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Asaph, Obadiah, son of Shemaiah, the son of Galiel, the son of Jedathun, and Berachah, son of Asia, the son of Echelana, who lived in the villages of the Nephitalians. The gatekeepers, Sholem, Echo, Talamon, Ahana, and their fellow Levites, Shalom, their chief, being stationed at the king's gate on the east up to the present time, there were the gatekeepers. These were the gatekeepers belonging to the camp of the Levites. Shalom, son of Kior, the son of Ebisath, the son of Kior, uh, and his fellow gatekeepers from his band, the Korites, were responsible for guarding the thresholds of the tent just as their ancestors had been responsible for guarding the entrance to the dwelling of the Lord in earlier times. Phineas, son of Eleazar, was the official in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zachariah, son of Mishalamiah, was the gatekeeper at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the threshold numbered 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel the seer. They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the tent of meeting. Gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their fellow Levites in their villages had to come from time to time and share their duties for seven-day periods. But the four principal Gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted with the responsibility for the rooms and treasuries 
in the house of God. They would spend the night stationed around the house of God because they had to guard it and they had charge of the key for opening it each morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple services. They counted them when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all of the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the special floor and wine, oh, sorry, as well as the special flour and wine and olive oil, incense and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing spices. A Levite named Metahiah, the firstborn son of Shalom, the Korite, was entrusted with the responsibility for baking the offering breads. Some of the Koholites, their fellow Levites, were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levites, families, stayed in the rooms of the temple and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the work day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs, as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem. The genealogy of Saul, Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Micaiah, and his firstborn son was Abaddon, followed by Zur, Kish, Biel, Ner, Nabadad, Gedor, Ahiah, Zechariah, and Michaloth. Michaloth was the father of Shemaiah. The two lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kesh, Kesh the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Micaiah, Shul, Abendad, and Ishbal. The son of Jonathan, Merib Abel, who was the father of Micaiah, the son of Micaiah, Pithon, Melech, Terah, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Judea. Judea was the father of Alameth, Azur, uh, Azmezav, and Zemariah. And Zemariah was the father of Boaz, or Mazah, sorry. Mazah the father, was the father of Benaiah. Arephia was his son. Elish, his son, and Azel, his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Ezrakam, Bikru, Ishmael, Sherei, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. That was First Chronicles seven through nine, and now we will be turning to John six twenty two. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but they had gone away alone. Then some boats from the Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum 
in search of Jesus. Jesus, the bread of life. When they had found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his zeal of approval. And then they asked him, What must we do to do the works of of God requires. Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. And so they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who had given you the bread from heaven, but it was my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be, go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But, as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away, for I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up in the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. At that the Jews there began to grumble about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I come down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless his father, unless the father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. And that was John six twenty two through forty. Which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering First Chronicles 10 through 12 and John 6, 45 through 71. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because, well, God will and will be here. And we hope that you 
are too. Please like and share.